You know, one of the encouraging things in Southern Baptist life today are the increasing number of students that are enrolling uh, in our six seminaries. Uh, one of my favorite stories in all the Bible takes place in the second book of Kings, the sixth chapter, the first seven verses, uh, when Elisha uh, had a school of the prophets down in the Jordan Valley. And uh, the, the school had become so filled that they were in need to, uh, of building more space. And uh, so they got to the task of building space. And, and one of those students who was chopping wood for the uh, lumber to make uh, one of the buildings, uh, as he swung his axe, the axe head, the Bible says, spun off the handle and went into the Jordan River and sank to the bottom. And uh, the whole story then becomes consumed with recovering that lost axe head. And Elisha, if you remember the story, the man of God took a little tree and he threw it into the water where the boy lost the axe head. And all of a sudden, the miracle, the axe head, the Bible says, did float. It floated to the surface. And Elisha said to the boy, reach out and take it. And he reached out and took it. You see, recovering that lost axe head uh, consumed the whole story that was there. Uh, and what a story it is. What is the axe head? Think about it. What is the axe head? It's the cutting edge. It's what cut into those trees to be able to fall those trees, to be able to cut that lumber. The axe head was the cutting edge of life. It's, for us, the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit in our lives that gives us the cutting edge. Uh, in life, uh, all the education in the world does not suffice for the cutting edge. You know, in the Christian life, you can be the most educated person in the world, but without the power of the Holy Spirit in your life, giving you the cutting edge, the sharpness, the power to live the Christian life, it can be to no avail. All the education in the world doesn't suffice for the cutting edge. All the natural ability in the world doesn't suffice for the cutting edge. In fact, some folks who have so much natural ability, so much winsome personality that they've inherited, uh, so much ability to do things can sometimes get in the way of the cutting edge. All the natural ability in the world cannot suffice for the cutting edge in life. It's the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so, what happens if you lose it? Most of us who've walked the Christian life for some time now know what it is, especially in those early days of the Christian faith, to know the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Well, this whole story that we're going to see in this series of devotionals is taken up with recovering that cutting edge. And, and the first step to recovering it uh, seems so simple, but it's not. I call it the problem simplified. One of those young men was cutting uh, so close to the river, and he, he his axe head fell off and went into the river, and, and the, the problem was he'd lost the axe head. And, but you know, some of us lose the axe head, and unlike this boy, we're too proud to admit it. And one of the reasons we never recover it is, is we never get to the place where we where we admit it. And so what do we do in churches sometimes when we lose the cutting edge? We compensate for the loss. We have seminars and talk about how to polish axe handles, how to make the swing in the perfect direction, and how to make it uh, where, where, where it will cut in. We, we motivate the wood choppers with positive thinking and send them out to chop down trees, and they come back beaten and bruised and the sound of the falling of trees is not there because some of us have lost the cutting edge. Uh, and know where he lost it. Same place many of us do. This young man lost the cutting edge in the midst of a busy schedule for God, doing something good for God. Sometimes we lose the wonder of it in the work of it. If you've lost the cutting edge, 
remember this. The, the problem is simply get to the place, first of all, where you admit it. Don't be too proud to admit it, and you'll be well on your way to recovering the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit in your life.